yung staff na dedicated for contact tracing? Ilang staff po yung dedicated for contact tracing? Can I just ask my uh, EB director? Ang uh, contact tracing po natin we have for the flights in uh, Metro Manila, uh, yung Cebu Pak and the uh, PAL, dito po ang uh, the whole of NCR Epidemiology Bureau, uh, surveillance officers. Ngayon sa region naman, doon po sa mga pumunta sa mga hotels, pumunta sa uh, mga uh, tindahan, ay uh, yung ating po uh, region uh, 7, Epidemiology Bureau uh, Surveillance Officer. Ilan, ilan mo? Ilan mo? Inaatay ko lang po. Para Kasi, na... check it out, remember, this is just one case. Yes. Um, I guess, pag nagkaroon pa ng, uh, well, hopefully, wala sanang, hindi na madagdagan yung bilang, pero kung madagdagan, um, kailangan malaman natin kung if there's a need to augment uh, yung staff, lalong-lalo na pag nating dito sa contact tracing. Well, meron mo nga uh, mga hakbang na uh, sinasagawa uh, na yung pag-ugnayan uh, uh, sa DILG. Uh, kasi po, kanina na-report na meron pong mga binubuong mga task force ang uh, DILG para uh, matukoy ng no, mga barangay captains uh, kung sino-sino sa kanilang mga mamamayan ang uh, dapat uh, uh, ma-quarantine. But of course, we need to uh, level up their uh, co competence in uh, being able to identify. So, yung pong technical support na yan magagaling po sa atin NCR as well as in the concerned region. But the number, I'll get back to you ma'am. Kasi katulad nitong dalawang pasyente na to, it's been how many days already at hindi nyo pa nakokontakt 100% yung uh, nakasalumuha nitong dalawang pasyente na to. I mean, yung hotels and restaurants, understandable, mahirap yan. But yung aeroplano, una-una, May ano yan, di ba? Meron namang listahan ng setback, saka may, man, man, may, may flight manifest. Di ba dapat, uh, ngayon pa lang, for me, dapat, Secretary, 100% na alam na ng mga pasahero na yun na uh, they've been exposed to the virus. We have, uh, as of now, uh, 17 surveillance officers plus 50. Okay, so uh, the information is that we have 17 uh, epidemiologists uh, joining, uh, constituting a team with 40 uh, surveillance officers. So, ito po ang ginagawa na ipag-ugnayan din sa kanilang uh, counterparts sa mga uh, pamahalaan lokal. So, siguro, Secretary, ano yung naging difficulties nyo in uh, getting in touch? Uh, siguro, lalong-lalo na dito sa kasama nila sa aeroplano. Uh, I am told that uh, efforts are being made to uh, uh, increase the number of uh, surveillance officers. Secretary, uh, yeah. ito lang sa plane lang. Let's uh, concentrate dito sa aeroplano. For example, yung flight nila from Hong Kong to Manila. I think it's a fact yun, di ba? 100% ng hubang na contact itong mga kasama nila sa flight na yun. The, I am told that the uh, Cebu Park and uh, PAL have a uh, system in place to get in touch. Secretary, I'm asking a simple question now. I just want to know, kung nakontakt niyo na ba lahat ng pasahero from Hong Kong to Manila na sumakay sa set uh, With the in-fight manifesto, so how many, how many percent? I guess Secretary mukhang hindi pa. Kasi... Uh, it looks like, uh, yes ma'am, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to admit it, it's not easy to do this. In fact, the... Uh, Dito ma'am Secretary, kasi you know, we are all here looking for a solution. Again, I am asking you, ano ho yung nagiging constraints kung bakit hindi nyo makontak itong mga nakasabay nila sa aeroplano? Baka hindi, hindi yun lang ako hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin alam ng mga 
sa kasakay ng si Aeroplano, nakasama pala din. Ang meron sila mga announcement na ginawa na, the uh, uh, flight number and the two airlines have already uh, continuously shared this information so that those who actually uh, were uh, inside the planes would know that uh, they have to follow the But, but step. apparently, Kang Secretary, hindi nyo pa naaabot lahat. Eh. Hindi pa nga ako. I will, uh, I will so, ano mo yung nagiging problema? Is it uh, kulang ba tayo sa manpower? That's or one of them. Hindi nyo talaga alam kung saan sila pupuntahan kasi yung uh, contact information sheet uh, kulang. So, <laughs> kasi may, may katulad nga ako, Nang sinasabi, may passenger manifesto tayo. In fact, pag foreigner kayo, is meron pa tayong tinifila pa na form na ito yung address mo in the Philippines. Kung foreigner ka, pag local ka naman, more or less, um, I'm sure may database naman ng um, BI kung saan nakatira itong mga pasahero na ito. Kasekretary, ilang ilang araw na ho eh. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, the um, uh, contacted uh, 17 percent uh, of a total of uh, 331. 17 uh, percent? Yes. Airlines are not sharing. Ito, baka pwede natin hong pagkaisahan ito. The airlines are not sharing contact details of the passengers. Okay? So, uh, they're invoking confidentiality. So, ito po ang uh, kailangan natin uh, uh, Can he get the, uh, ano, from CAD or CAAP? Yes, ma'am. Ibig sabihin, Secretary, hanggang ngayon, wala pang may kopya ng flight manifest? Meron. Kasi ayaw ibigay ng airline? Yeah, meron, but no contact details. With us, sir. Sige po, uh, GF. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and your honors. In, in my experience, the airlines would readily give this kind of information, especially under special circumstances like we have today. So in, in my experience, the experience of our office, they would be willing to share it, especially during an event like this. Um, I guess let's go back to the basic protocol natin. Who asked the airlines to provide them the manifest with contact details? Uh, we do. The uh, Epidemiology Bureau of the DOH uh, was instructed very clearly to get the flight uh, manifest. And from then on, I thought that things would be uh, as usual, that uh, there shouldn't be any problems. But now, I'm being uh, uh, very strange they're saying that the airlines are the ones contacting the passengers and informing them. And that we're not given uh, the uh, number, but all of these will be subject to validation, uh, Your Honor, so that we will know exactly how to uh, address this uh, issue. It is a very serious issue. Yes, Secretary. Yes. You know, um, yes, yes. mas nakakalungkot, eh parang hindi kayo nag-uusap. No. <laughs> Pero, I mean, Isara sa katayi do kayo ikot ng coordinator ka up or ka up na may ganito kayong difficulties na hinaharap ngayon. Because di ba katulad nung sinabi nyo, napakahalaga netong contact tracing. But apparently, uh, kulang na kulang tayo. With uh, the permission of... With the permission of Mr. Chema? With the permission of... Go ahead, Senator. Huwag na po yung airline. DOH to airline. Huwag na po yun. Sabi nyo, hindi na ko operate. DOH to DOTR or directly to CAP. Hindi po pwedeng mag-usap and then they can order the airline to produce the manifest. Yun lang po. I'll go ahead, uh, Senator De La Rosa. You may interject. Yes, with the uh, permission of uh, Senator Bine. Uh, Sir, uh, Secretary Duque, once uh, you have the manifest already, bigay mo sa PNT. Three days lang yan, maximum two days. Accounted lahat yung tao na yan. 
Ano ang video sunuhin na problema? Eh hindi ninyo sinishare sa ibang ahensya eh. Sabi nyo, kompetensi, kompetensi, kompetensi. Pero ano yung polis na nung gawin para hindi mag-spread yung virus? Di ba, pwede sa iya, kahit din natin tao na pag bigyan nyo listahan sa polis. Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, I'm told that these airlines are invoking the Data Privacy Act. I don't know how. This is rather strange. In a, in a time of uh, urgent, uh, you know, a, a situation, I do not understand why this is the case, but I think that has to be investigated. And we will look into it, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, why this uh, invocation, uh, which I find very uh, inappropriate uh, to say the least. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead, uh, uh, sir. GM uh, Monreal. Sir, with the permission of the chair and the rest of the members, allow me to uh, outline as a former airline uh, uh, employee okay. for 30 plus years. There are protocols. First of all, when a passenger makes a booking, the airline, before closing the reservation, they give the details. Okay. Even to the U.S., the addresses of the passengers are being taken down. Okay. Now we're talking about this situation. Right now, the situation is in contact tracing, as soon as the name of the passenger is related to the airline, I can attest to you that they will not withhold the name. Based on the protocols, the revised protocols now, with a person involved, in, uh, if I say that, that a suspected person, based on I, um, ITO standards, the four rows in front, four rows on the right, four rows on the left, and four rows at the back. Of course, it's uh, seats are rows uh, more, to make it more. Uh, uh, then those are the primary suspect or to be contacted. Um, you don't have to call all the passengers because as a commercial carrier, they are equipped with HEPA filters. HEPA filters normally uh, what do you call it? Clean the air inside the aircraft. But however, that being said, we have already been uh, in the news that there's a contact trace. People, as long as you tell them the flight number, the exact flight number, I'm sure if you were that on board, you will initially also volunteer yourself. So basically, I don't see any uh, reason why airlines are going to withhold the name of the passenger. Go, go ahead, uh, Secretary Alexi. Um, what I know is that just not just as Secretary of Foreign Affairs, but as any air traveler, is that you cannot even get out of the plane unless you give the details that says where are you living, what is your address. I have been reprimanded in airports for failing to give the exact address of the hotel. Therefore, that slip of paper is in the custody of the Bureau of Immigration, and there is no such thing as a right to privacy. Otherwise, we are open to foreign invasion. We would like, we would like to request the DOH to coordinate with the uh, CAAT, the Bureau of Immigration, the PNP, to aid in tracing uh, of contacts uh, like uh, during the MERSCOV uh, incident in 2013. Pwede niyo pong pag-usapan yan sa inyong interagency uh, task force, uh, Secretary Duque. 